I am going to teach you the one thing that you can do that will probably make a very big difference in your marketing results. Sounds good? Hey everybody, this is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad and marketing gunslinger. Thanks for joining me again this week for another uncopyable business program, always trying to make you more money. And that sounds good, doesn't it? Um, there's a common mistake that companies make and because I say it's a common mistake, odds are your company makes them. Uh, if you don't, good for you, good on you. But uh, let's talk about it here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a simple fix on how you can change from making this common mistake. Now let's take a look at an example of a, this common mistake. Uh, uh, I get these emails. I'm on a lot of email lists in a lot of different industries and so I get these emails from from corporations a lot. One of the things that I find in the emails is that you know what I'm sorry to say but you know what you're just not trying very hard. <laughs> sorry it's it's the truth. See here let, I'm gonna pick on Dylan manufacturing here today because that just happened to be the one that I pick, pulled out of my list and uh, uh, this is nothing against Dylan all right, and I don't I don't consult for Dylan. And in fact, if anybody does uh, is watching this from Dylan, then I'm giving you some free consulting, and I hope I hope you uh, uh, take it take advantage of this. So here's the thing. All right, I get this email recently from them. This is the subject line that was in the email. You know that's that says Dylan Chuck Jaws complete with work holding line. That's a mouthful, quite frankly, for me to for me to say, uh, but that's the, that's the subject line. Now, you know, I, I did a program recently, uh, um, one of my weekly programs, not too long ago, where I talked about subject lines. And when you make this is just an announcement. That's all this is. This is just a uh, we have a work holding line. I mean, that's what that's basically what they're saying. Now, it's not a reason for me to open it. Uh, uh, unless maybe at the very at this very moment I'm thinking about getting something uh, but uh, other than that there's probably no reason for anybody to open this so I suspect that the open rate on this was very very low but once you open it up and you come into this email now here's what here's what we've got here this this email let's just start with this first of all this is just a giant graphic okay and it tells us again Dylan Chuck Jaws. And all it does is it says, we have this, we offer this. We provide our customers with great product choices, convenience, reliability, quality, and value. Uh, nothing there that would say we are really awesome, we are really great, we're really different from the competition. Uh, this is just all the same basic uh, hyperbole that we would hear from most of the people that I would suspect that are in this, in this industry. Um, and it says uh, down here at the bottom, you know, sold sold through distributors, made in the USA. Nice little touch there, made in the USA. Now, other than that, this is it. I don't see any links. You don't see any links in there, uh, hot links for me to click on or anything like that. And in fact, uh, it just it took me a minute to finally realize that this uh, entire uh, uh, picture here, this 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 entire picture, uh, is a link. So I clicked it to see, all right, where would this take me? And it took me to the Dylan Manufacturing homepage. Again, nothing, uh, uh, nothing really, really marketing about this other than this is just a, this is really just their brochure put on the, on the internet. Uh, and it just talks about the products. That's all it does. Uh, you know that uh, um, the types of products that they've got over here and now they do list in here uh, that it says if you remember in the, uh, the the email it talked about you know sold through distributors so here's the distributor link uh, but other than that there's really nothing on here that says uh, we would you know um, t any type of action step uh, that we want you to take. You can search their catalog if you want to, but really there's there's no um, do this, do that, do this, do that, or here or here's why we are better than everybody else. Here's why you should do business with us. Uh, and uh, you know, but the biggest thing of all that they're missing, the biggest thing of all that they're missing in here is is what I call the one thing that you can do to be much, much more successful. Now, one thing you can do is a call to action. Now, 
I am not going to just say call to action is, is, the answer, is the answer. In fact, what I'm going to say is what you're really looking for is a transformational call to action. Transformational call to action means that this is something that is going to be meaningful to you. This is something that is going to impact you, right? So if we go back to the email that I was talking about, see, in reality, you know, they actually have two call to actions right there and right there, you know, order, order your catalog and uh, call your distributor. Uh, those are call to actions, but those are really kind of default call to actions. They're not transformational call to actions. It, they're just making, basically making a statement that, oh, you can get your, your catalog, get your catalog. Here you go. You, you want Dylan Chuck Jaws, right? Get your catalog uh, or, you know, and call your distributor. Right. So those are call to actions, but there's but two two big things wrong. Number one is that they are uh, they're just mediocre. They're just mediocre, mediocre. They're not really anything that is uh, um, uh, motivating me to make any type of clicks or anything like that. And number two, nothing in here tells me this is a hot link. Uh, and these, this order your catalog today, that should be a hot link. If you really want to get people to do that, that should be a hot link. But let's get into what, what, what I think should really be the way you want to do this. You want to, uh, in your subject line, you want to say something enticing uh, because you really want to make sure that they open your, your subject line, uh, your, you open the email and read it, right? So like, let's say, for example, instead of, you know, complete work holding line, you know, let, let's say they said, you know, they, they were looking for their target market were lathe workers. So now the subject line says something much more motivating to the person. It says essential accessory, oh, that should be no comma there, but it should say essential accessory for any serious lathe worker. Okay, so now it's calling out the lathe workers and it's saying to them, oh, the, here's something that is really, really essential. Uh, for, for you to have. So lathe workers are going to go, oh, I should find out what that is and open it up. And then on the inside, uh, you know, have something along the lines of, of here, you know, four jaw chucks are an essential accessory for any serious lathe worker. Uh, so it's explaining something in there to them. But the, but the big, big kicker of all is then that uh, is that at, at the bottom, have something that says, you know, find a distributor. And, it, and it's a big call to action button. You know, and, and in fact, I should probably have, have put down in there, put put down, put down in there. I am a professional speaker. Uh, I should have put something in there that instead of, that said, click here to find a distributor. And then when you click there, instead of taking you to the home page, it takes you to the page to find a distributor, right? That's what they're looking for. So you see the call to action, that centerpiece of call to action is why they should do something. Why should they raise their hand and show that they have an interest in your product or service? So you're giving them that reason, but the call to action is the big thing there, is that you're saying, go do this and do this right now and take them to a specific page that answers that question. That's the, uh, you know, that's, that's the one click call, the call to action, uh, the transformational call to action, I should say. It's the one thing you can do to make a huge difference in the uh, response rate that you get, you get from any of your emails or your direct mail pieces, or even if you're at a trade show, is that you, ha is that you have a one thing that is going to happen next that you ask them for. So, this is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad and marketing gunslinger. Thanks for joining me again this week. I will be back again next week with another uncopyable business program. Until then, always remember, be uncopyable.